Hi everybody, Carol here. These are the impossible cards I've been making lately. I named this one Sunburst, and this one Vacation, and this one Nature, and this one Raindrops and Galoshes, and this one Dogs, and the last one At the Shore. So I'm going to be making another one today. And if you've seen my others, you know I make a 5x7 card landscape style. And I cut some templates that are 2.5x3.5. Uh, and, and, and that's the, the half measure of a 5x7. On this side, I will cut, make one cut right there. And then on the upper half, I make two tabs on the ends. And I make mine 1 and 3 fourths, but you can do whatever you want to. Trace that down to the center. Now on a piece of copy paper, I'm just showing how how that works. You flip the card under and uh, fold the center piece back, line up the edges and fold it. And that little piece in the center pops up and that's what makes it look impossible because you think, how can that be from one sheet of paper? But it's because you push that front piece over the bottom right rectangle. You push it with your thumb or however and push it back under, flip it back under. And that's what happens. Now I'm, I've got the cardstock here. I'm going to erase the lines that I made. I cut in between those uh, lines. If they overlap, I cut between the lines. And this is going to be a card about flowers and hillsides. So here I am folding that back again, lining up the edges and so that I can decorate the front, which is uh, the right hand side flipped under. Then it becomes the front. So I've cut these hills out of two different colors of green. I've already got some stems up there that I took to the trimmer and just cut out some skinny pieces of green. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, the um, the hills I just sketched off a slope. Uh, nothing special about that. And then I have a little stylized flower sitting on the top of the hill. I'll show you more of those in a minute. I put all my pieces over with glue, with Tombow Mono Multi Glue that becomes repositionable once it dries. So they've been on that sheet of paper drying. I brought down that little skinny piece of hillside that's the same green but when you put the um, edging on it with this makeup sponge it gets dimension and it looks like a ups and downs of a hillside. I'm putting uh, the white flower down and the stem and I'm tucking that stem in between the hills and uh, it's too long so I'll cut it off in a, in a second and then I start stacking my flowers. And you will notice that that center stem on the right hand side on the center piece, I cut it off so that it won't uh, be a problem flipping that card back and forth. So as I start to stack, there's one flower, there's the center flower. All of them have at least two pieces. And then here is the third flower with the shortened stem and uh, then the last one, which is the flip under piece, I um, put another piece of green that kind of lines up with the uh, green on the other hill. And I put a flower there. Now I start putting these, what I call flowers, they're stylized flowers. I just cut out circles and hand cut them. They're very uh, folk arty. All of these flowers are cut out by hand. And if you want to make a pattern, you can and trace around it or cut it freehand. And I'm just putting these flowers on the top of the hillside just to um, really, it, it's about the color and uh, to show that there's these flowers popping up out of the hillside. And then I decide to, on that right hand side, to raise that hill and make it line up with the hill across the way there. And uh, then put some flowers. Then I decide to move that one with the repositionable glue. You can do that. Line them up the way you want them. And uh, then when I flip that card back, you'll see that I already had a stem on the back side to line up with the stem on the front side of that, that hot pink flower there. 
Now I cut another little strip of hillside to kind of line up with the hillside that it's right beside. But I want it to look different. I don't want it to be matchy-matchy because I want it to be part of that interactive card that flips back and forth and you can see a difference. I used a stamp set here that just has a, a bunch of words uh, that says happy and uh, the stamp set has loved, cute, sweet, blessed. Um, it's just, you know, a, a lot of these uh, words that I thought I cut them out of uh, colors that went well with the rest of it. I went around the edges again with the makeup sponge uh, to give them a little dimension and make them stand out. And um, I'll show you what I did here. I actually went around every single piece, every little flower, every big flower, every layer, every hillside, everything except the stem. And I'm just showing you what I went around. And because I, in my opinion, it really makes the flowers pop. Now I'm going to cut off that stem. But uh, when you turn it back, you can see uh, how each one of those, it just gives it a more finished look, a more artsy look, in my opinion. And I'll show you the difference. I made a little sample here for you to see, and I'm going to zoom in. The flowers on the left and the card, the white cardstock, had been edged, uh, I mean, excuse me, edged in that neutral ink with a makeup sponge. The one on the right has not. And uh, you can choose which one you like better, but I just think the other looks much more finished. And honestly, that took me six minutes. I timed it, and it took me six minutes to go around all those pieces. Now I'm just showing you another little thing you can do as you're making cards and you can get you a little stockpile of things that you can go to if um, you want to make some cards quickly. I cut out those flowers. That's a little uh, stamp that I put on top of some pattern paper that I could use for a hillside. And I glue these down. They can all be picked up at any time and transferred to a card. These are my pinks. Pinks and and these are my reds and yellows and oranges and you'll notice I put those right on the edge of the card and that way uh, I was going to put it on the white and it didn't show up but if you put it against a colored piece of cardstock you could see what it looks like and that's why I put them on the edges of the card so that I could hold it up to the cardstock see what those look like what those colors look like and then just tuck them away put them in the envelope label them and um, they they give you great inspiration when you're kind of in a, have a little bit of block. Now, being a 5-7 card, I've shown this before, but if it's perfectly in an A7 card, I mean, excuse me, envelope, and um, so I just wanted to show you that. It doesn't cost any more mail on A7 than, than an A6 or anything else, so, um, <clears throat> I mean, a regular envelope. I was showing if you wanted to fill in that space, and I have to cut off that little hillside down there. But if you want to fill in that space up, up there with another flower, you can. If you have a cute little, uh, maybe a bird stamp. I had one, but I can't find it. I moved it to a better place. And so, of course, now I can't find it. Uh, if you've ever done that before. But I'm going to twist it and let you see it. You could write a note on the back of that little center section that pops up if you would like to. Or put a separate note in there. And that's the way it goes. So uh, I hope you enjoyed. I want to show you too very quickly that I used another stamp set. I couldn't decide which one of those sentiments I wanted to use. That one right there that is called So Very. Or this one that is called um, Riveting. And those words say um, enjoy your day, wishing you the best, for you with love. And I thought they looked cute in those same colors. I covered up the centers and didn't uh, put any edging around them, but to, because they had little individual pictures in those centers, like a birthday gift or some kind of a gift and things like that. And then one more thing on these stems. If you're going to the paper trimmer and cutting strips, you might as well go ahead and cut, cut a bunch of them. They're very thin. And then I put them in individual bags. There I just cut one in half, tore it in half to see you, if you want to use that for your color stem. There's a bright green. There's another bright green, but darker. And I actually alphabetized those according to the cardstock name. But just keep them together and pull those uh, stems out. Again, you've got it ready to go. Now here's this stamp set that's uh, riveting. 
and you can see what's there and then the other stamp set is so very just wanted to see what's available so very sorry uh, useful little stamps so um, and then just quickly I literally have a one sentence brush lettering from Ralph Waldo Emerson about flowers but I love it and I think it's really appropriate for this so thanks for joining me there are some more videos at the end of this one that you might like to see and a subscribe button but thanks for joining me today I hope you had a good time and got inspired and uh, so glad to be with you see you next time bye bye